Hello, it's um, Pigs again. This is the mix. All of my, um, all of my mixtures. So we got, like I've covered it before, there's the ayahuasca herbs and uh, leaves, roots, bark. Um, we've got my colloidal, um, colloidal gold, copper, acetate, nanoparticle gold. I've added um, aloe vera. Um, some, some slight copper, colloidal copper compound. Um, I've got um, an almost almost mixture there. I've also got um, some monatomic gold. There we go. And um, so yeah, so I've just started the process of just putting them into the pot, um, focus some focus some attention into it. You might notice the redness of my hand actually. Because you can feel the feel bit of energy come off actually. Um, and then it just fakes in uh, Mother Earth. Um, I can basically see something before it's even kind of happened. So I was almost seeing what could have happened, what lies ahead, <laughs> the journey that lies ahead. Um, I can, um, I can sense, um, like, uh, she looked like a demigod, basically. Um, you want to imagine something like, you'd see, like, Poison Ivy out of Batman. Um, but this, 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 this character or entity represents, um, Mother Earth. Um, and she could become more human or plant or whatever she wants to, she just... Just um, a type of shapeshifter. She was also known as the Jungle Queen as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's a part of a, a spiritual journey I connect with. Um, I think I'll get more. I'll get more into the journey, uh, the pre-journey stuff. The, the kind of after I take this stuff, um, I mentioned about meditation and focus and intention and stuff like that the sort of um, preparation because it's not a case of someone's I'm looking to uh, lose control um, it's more a case of enhancing what's already there and directing the experience rather than um, just just lo like I say just losing control um, otherwise it's not not the same experience I may actually put a slight bit of alcohol in it just to break it down as well just a really small amount can I say it's not too um it's not like some sort of um, massive drug induced experiment. I've also added um, some coffee to it as well. I've added some, uh, I've added some classic uh, <laughs> Italiano. Here's the work for me. And um and I've got another one, it's got um it'll just actually power it and power it even more. Garana. There you go, that's another one, so it's rocket fuel. Um, yeah, basically I've got a quick metabolism on coffee. So um, I will get a massive, um, I would just get a, a, like um, an endorphin dump. If I have like a, a coffee, it basically just goes through my system uh, faster than, than some, an average person. It's just something that's a genetic trait. But I... Um, I had my DNA checked ages ago. It's just one of these things you might see advertised on TV. And they gave me sort of a list of traits, strengths, weaknesses, all sorts of that. That was the one, and basically, um, less chance of a heart attack, um, a fast metabolism with coffee. And I think there's something else for asparagus as well, something the body can produce. But um, yeah, it's quite interesting. Anyway, that's, that's, that's sort of a side topic. But as you can see, it looks quite pretty. Um, <laughs> looks pretty on its, on its uh, camera. So I'm just going to let this experiment brew and I want to get off and do some work and then in my free time I'll, I'll uh, sample it and see see what happens and um, like I say um, report back see if it's actually a good idea mixing uh, other alchemical processes in there um, so it's more of a shamanic um, alchemical experiment. But anyway, this is a piece of time now.